Okay, and Denise, how are you connected to the great Southern California shakeout scenario? Well, the Southern California shakeout scenario is actually providing the science by which we are going to be testing and exercising our emergency management performance measures. And what I mean by that is that we'll be activating our emergency operations center and bringing together all of our multi-agency partners together to play to the scenario that the science is producing. So the chaos that it's producing, the catastrophic earthquake, the 7.8 catastrophic earthquake, um, the devastation to hospitals, the bridge collapses, road closures, the debris, the um, casualties and deaths, all of that science is providing us with an opportunity to test our response capabilities to how we would respond in an actual event. Okay, and uh, how is your division in particular utilizing the science in this scenario? Well, our division is responsible for uh, managing emergency uh, management for the County of San Bernardino. We bring together uh, all of the players, including uh, county departments, uh, private industry, uh, agencies like Southern California Edison, uh, the gas company, uh, the CHP, Caltrans, all of those agencies that might be brought together in a real-time response, that is one of our roles to actually do that in an actual catastrophic emergency. Okay, and can you speak to what it means to you that this scenario is based on real science? Well, what it means to us is that we're not just practicing, you know, normally when we do exercising, we come up with some make-believe scenario. So we come up with something that's probably going to happen. But the USGS has provided us with an opportunity to use actual science on which to base our, our responses and our, and our play, exercise play, if you will. So it's very different for us because we can play to and we can tell the public that we're playing to an actual probability of occurrence, that these things are probably going to actually occur. And that's very unique to this type of exercise activity. Okay, and this great Southern California shakeout is obviously a huge event. What about the event inspires you the most? You know, I think for, for us, the inspiration has really come through our multi-agency coordination, uh, the partnerships that we've created, the relationships that we've established with our, our key players and our response agencies. We have 24 cities and towns uh, in the county of San Bernardino, and over half of those cities are also engaged in the exercise planning activities. We have over 400,000 uh, local community members now registered uh, for the shakeout um, exercise scenario, and we have 19,000 county employees also registered. So the inspiration, I think, for me comes from knowing that the partnerships, the relationships, and the engagement that we've created, the momentum that we've created for this exercise um, is really pretty monumental for our county. Okay, and Denise, is there anything else you want to add? Yes, I would like to issue a challenge to our residents of San Bernardino County. As you may know, you can go online and register for the ShakeOut scenario on ShakeOut.org. Currently, San Bernardino County has about 400,000 residents registered. Riverside County has about 100,000 more than us registered. I would like to issue this challenge to our county residents to catch up to Riverside, if not beat Riverside in this special challenge. So Riverside, just want you to know we're gonna be nipping at your heels in this challenge. If you don't have access to the internet at home, you can go to one of your public libraries where they do have computers that you can get online, go to shakeout.org and register, or you can call our office or your, your local emergency management office and get more information there as well. We'll be working with the local media both print and radio, and broadcasting the ShakeOut Challenge. So get ready, folks. All right, well, best of luck to you, Denise, Thank and you. San, Bernardino, San Bernardino County.